My name is G. Trulia and welcome to the TST Scan Tool Shootout. Tonight I have with us uh, Pierre Espo, Vice President of TST, John Baer, Associate of TST, Alex Portillo, Technician at Car Clinic, Basil Stratos, Treasurer of TST. Okay, and what we're trying to do is since the average age of the vehicle on the road is 11 years, we decided to go with a 2003 BMW 325XI series car that happens to be Pierre's vehicle. But not just because it's Pierre's vehicle, again, this is what you would most likely encounter in your shop. Now, with that being said, we always make sure that we do this disclaimer. And the tools that are in here are companies that are not afraid to have us give a full view of their tool. All of us here, including Craig behind the camera, and Adam Varney, who is actually a uh, mobile tech, have put the tools on the car and ran them through their courses. So this is what Here's we, what we compare. Number of modules, the auto scan or health check, and you'll see it's a little bit different, what they call it in BMW land, bi-directional control, numbers of PIDs on the engine controller. We'll talk about Pierre and Bear and Basil and Alex will all give their opinions on some of the other modules we looked at. The ability to graph, the ability to save information and screenshots, the ability to print info and screenshots, programming, which is important nowadays, adaptations and relearns, which are very, very important. Back tool, AutoLogic in first place, launch with the GDS in second, Autel in third, Autoland Scientech iScan 2 WT, uh, and fourth, OTC Pegasus fifth, Auto Ingenuity six. Those were the six tools that we did in this scan tool shootout. Again, this is not to knock any company. We do this to make the companies aware of what their tools do in the real world. Wor wor real world is getting laid out here without actually reading any manuals or doing anything. We just pick it up and use the tool. We found this as the number one tool, uh, again, a little pricey, but the number one tool to do what you want on a BMW. Why don't you give your opinion on this? You were looking and playing with it. On the launch? On the launch. Yep, the launch was a good tool. It was uh, fairly intuitive to use. Not the best compared to the auto logic, but not difficult. And I figured with a, you know, a reasonable amount of time in hand, not using the manual, you could become proficient with it. It's, it's for me. It's light, it's, it's nice. Fly. It's got the handle on the back. And it was, I mean, it was fast. Very quick. I mean, I don't, want to, I don't want to bad mouth the motors. I own the motors, I own the Veris, but that thing took forever to fire up. This thing was quick. Well, and that, like we it. can't really base it on the motors because that, that, like that, that, that isn't the tool anymore of, of, but so it's the same software. Right. right. I'm right. going by what I'm used to, right? You know, <laughs> but I, I was impressed with this thing. I thought this was pretty cool. Actually, I'm not a BMW guy. I've never used a tool before. Plugged it in. In my opinion, real easy to use. Um, luckily, B, uh, Pierre is a BMW guy. But the way the modules were written, it said it in what BMW calls it. But then it would tell you it's an ABS module. It's an anti-lock module. It's the steering module. It was actually nice. It was fast. It was easy for me to walk through. I was impressed with it. You know, it worked well. It had a lot of please weights, as they all did, and any scan tool does. Uh, but it got there, and there wasn't a lot of guessing to find the menu layout. There, there were some questions, but all in all, it was, uh, you know, it was a comfortable tool to use. It wasn't awkward, and it, it seemed to do a, you know, a good job. Yeah. And Pierre, or anyone else, any other comments or? Yeah, I mean, I, I used it for domestic cars. It's a, it's a great tool, and it's my first time using it in and, and a BMW. Uh, it was, it was a, I mean, it's, it's a lot of things to choose from, and just like the, the launch, you just have to go through it. It seemed when it had the info, and again, it would have took a little more of a learning curve, I think, with the menu and whatnot, but all in all, it, it, it seemed to be a decent tool. I mean, I, I use the tool the most, so... My comment is, I, I'm aware that Auto Ingenuity buys the data right from the OEMs. So whatever it did had it pretty much did perfectly because it's probably straight from whatever they were given and they put together. 
Um, it did have critical flaws. It did not have any EBS communication, which is pretty big. We do have live webcasts and simulcasts. A simulcast live coming up for our November meeting, the 15th of November, right here in New York. We will simulcast that. Uh, you can also check us out on a YouTube channel, type in TSP Seminars, and watch all the stuff that we have. So until next time, this is G. Trulia, signing out. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.